All right, so for this dot day project, we are going to start by picking out what color we would like for our background. So I think I'll do green. At your table, you will have paint in this little ice cube tray. So it's kind of hard to see. We have pink, purple, orange, green, blue, red, and yellow, right? So what you're gonna do is you are going to pick a color to start with. I think, oh, forgot. Very first thing, you guys know this, that we always, always, always do is put our name and class code on the back. Flip it over. You wanna make sure you do that first because we will be painting today, so it'll be really hard to put your name on the back after you've gotten started. So I'm gonna pick a color to start with. I think I'm gonna start with blue. And I'm just going to put a dot on my paper. Boop, just like that. I'm gonna keep this Q-tip since I've already used it for blue. I'm gonna keep this Q-tip in the blue um, paint, okay? Then I can pick another color. Maybe I will do purple next. And I am just going to start making dots that go around that dot. And I'm going to try to evenly space them out just like that. So it kind of looks like a little flower right now. Then I can do my next color. Maybe I want to do pink. Boop, boop, boop. And you can do this a few times before you have to dip back and get a little more paint. Just like that. And you can see every time I'm leaving the Q-tip in that color, now I'll do yellow. And I'm just making a slightly bigger circle every time. I'm just going around and around. The trick to this is you want your little dots to hopefully all be about the same size and you want them to be evenly spaced apart. So the yellow is a little bit hard to see on the screen, but I'm trying to space them evenly apart and I'm trying to make them as the, the same size as best as I can. So maybe now I'll do orange. The real illusion and real cool thing with this comes in when you try to make them all the same size and not only try to space your dots out, your dots evenly apart when you're doing each color. So I'm trying to space my orange dots evenly apart, but I'm also trying to space each line of dots evenly apart. So you can see my blue and my purple, then my pink, then my yellow are trying to space them out evenly. Make sure you're really careful when you're going back in to get more paint or when you go to put your Q-tip back because you want to make sure that you are putting it back in the right color because you only get seven Q-tips. So if you accidentally put them back in the wrong color, then you don't get to use that other color anymore because I never ever want to see you put the orange Q-tip back in the blue paint or something like that because that just mixes up the paints for the next class. You are not the only class that are using these paints. All of the other fourth grade classes are using these paints. So make sure that you are treating them nicely. So I'm going to keep going. Now I'm doing red. Okay. Now I could keep going with this one and make it bigger and bigger and bigger, or I could go ahead and start a new one, which is I think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start another dot right over here with my green. And I'm going to start going around that with some other colors. So now I'm doing orange. I think I'm gonna start another circle down here. Oops. Now I have two circles because I accidentally dripped, so now that's, that'll be the center of another circle.
And you know what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go back and make this circle pretty big. So I think I want this one to be pretty big and I think I want this one to be pretty big. And then the rest of my circles I think I'm gonna keep a little bit smaller. You can see you need to be really, really careful when you're using these Q-tips because as you go on, the Q-tips start to get a little bit softer because they're full of paint and they start to get a little bit sloppier. So you need to be pretty careful. You can see I've already dripped another time, so I'm going to be kind of careful, see if I can either cover that up or just happen to use purple right there. We'll see. You can see they're starting to go off the paper a little bit. That is okay. You can see that. They're starting to go off the paper. That's fine. You just want to make it look like that little circle is starting to go off the paper. So that's what I'm doing there. If you need to just skip over like I do here, you can see my green just kind of stops here and then starts back up just like if the circle kept going, right? Then I think, I think those are big enough for right now. Oh, actually, since I want to cover up this little purple dot, I accidentally messed up. I'm going to do purple one more time around the outside of this. All right, so you can see that circle is actually getting pretty big there on my paper. Now I think since I've already accidentally dripped right there, I'm gonna keep going with this circle. I'm gonna start one more circle, I think. Might start two more circles. I'm gonna do one right here. Still make sure that you're spacing out those dots evenly and as best as you can. Just remember that's a really important part of the finished illusion for this picture. And I actually forgot one color. You guys will also be able to use white. Sorry, I kind of forgot that one, but that's okay. Maybe I'll start the center of my last circle with white. And you can see this one is getting kind of sloppy, this, this Q-tip, so I'm gonna try to wipe it off a little bit so it doesn't make quite as big of circles, you got to be a little bit care careful when the Q-tips start to get a little bit sloppier towards the end of class. Okay, and I'm going to go back. So none of my circles have started to overlap yet, but I'm getting real close here, so I'm going with my white. I keep my paper. Be really, really careful when you're with your wrist when you start to do this because you don't want to accidentally drag your wrist through any of these down here. So be really careful that you either turn your paper so you don't drag your wrist across your paper or that you keep your hand a little bit higher up so you're not dragging your wrist. All right. So now my circles right here are starting to overlap each other. So I'm going in with this small circle. So what I'm going to do is when it bumps in to those big circles, I'm just going to act like almost like we did when it went off the page. I'm just going to stop it and then start it back up where it starts again. And here I'll show you. So you can see it started to overlap this big orange circle. So I did my three blue dots right there. 
and then when the orange circle stopped, I started back up with my blue dots down there. Now maybe I'll go in with my red. I'm just gonna keep doing that. You can see now I can only fit two little dots in there for this circle. And these will eventually all overlap each other. I think I'm gonna do white for this one. You can see now this one is starting to overlap with this small one down here, so I'm just going to Go around it, try not to forget spots up here. So this circle is continuing on up here, so I'm gonna make sure I don't miss up there. I think I'm gonna go in with my yellow next. Making sure not to miss this little space up here. Okay, so now I'm gonna make this circle get bigger and bigger from the from the center. So I'm gonna keep going. So now, I'm almost done. You can see there's not a whole lot left for, on my paper. This circle, this little one, this circle, this circle, and this circle have all stopped. I have not been adding more on any of those circles. The only two circles that are growing now is this big circle in the middle and this circle on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this circle until it goes off the edges of these papers and then any space that's still left up here, this circle will finish off. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so now I've finished that up. So then the last thing that's going to happen is this circle is going to fill up the last of these spaces up here. All right, there's the end of my dot day project. You can see I have filled up my entire paper. There is no empty spaces. You can see that illusion of those overlapping, growing dots happens really well if you can evenly space out your dots. Not just the dots in the same color line, but the dots in the lines themselves. So my red line is evenly spaced from my purple and then, or my pink line is evenly spaced from my purple and my red, then my green, right? Make sure everything is as evenly spaced out as you possibly can. And that is how you will get this perfect picture.